a very close friend. We worked together. He was my right-hand guy. He was murdered. You serious? What have you done? It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's not illegal. But I may be their next target. What do you want now? I want us to make peace. Just for Rita. All right, then. I would like to make an announcement. Senya? Dimitri? I'd like to have Margarita's hand in marriage. <laughs> hey! That was not what we agreed on. <laughs> I was just improvising. Yes, yeah, so you don't have my approval. Now, seriously, I have something to tell you. I got a call from the editors. I will have to leave as soon as possible. Where to? And when? Immediately. It's very serious. I'll come back as soon as possible. So, what are you? Friends? Just a colleague. I'm looking for one Edward Sapenko. Know him? Well, he isn't in a morgue. What do you mean? Something went wrong. It happens. There. Done with surgery. Just this morning. And so... where can I find him? Mr. Sopenko has been sent to a ward. This should mean that he has already come around. What's up, Doc? You know, the same as usual. Failed surgeries and white slippers. How is it? They told me I'm likely to stay lame. One does not simply walk after a leg shot. Honestly? I think a walking stick would suit you better. You know Byron? Then if I grow a mustache too, you'll get the best wingman. <laughs> ha ha. Guess you should have gotten yourself shot earlier then. Yeah... Where did they do it? Tell me what happened. Straightforward. Right at the entrance. Bad luck, huh? Guess we're the same, then. Look here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Cool one. From where? Ah. Uh, my dumb ass was sticking out. We were in a shootout. Sounds like it was serious. Yeah. I can show you my gun if you want. From the army commander himself. Nice to see you. Oh, you too, Peter. So then, you'll do it? I don't think I can. There's too much risk. You shouldn't have messed with them. All right. Thank you for coming here. It's all right. My pleasure. My regards to your mother. Mm -hmm. Don't push your luck, friend. Business is business, but... Don't forsake your wellness. Sergei, it's not business. It's principle. Get up. <clears throat> Grandpa? Hmm? What sort of conspiracy are you planning? What conspiracy? <gasps> Grandpa misses you. You mean I can't talk to you in private? Oh. You left. Without saying goodbye and then suddenly came back without a warning. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Rita, be straight with me. I'm too old for riddles. How long will you be staying here? Just until Peter comes back. Uh-huh. And when is he coming back, huh? Your dear Peter? Pronto, Grandpa, pronto. Hey. And when do you plan to introduce us, huh? Mm. But what if you don't like him? Oh. In order to not like him, then first I have to see him. Uh, tell me about this, Peter. Don't worry, it's just between you and me. A true partisan like me knows how to keep a secret. Our worldviews have a lot of similarities. Mm, I see. Is that so? 
Can you tell me more about these similarities that you have with him? <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Hmm. Don't you think that I can have my privacy? Oh. A partisan must not only be subversive, we just like spies. <laughs> Yeah, speaking. Are you having a good evening, Mr. Peter? Are you busy? Knowing you, my friend, you're probably taking a late night road trip. I appreciate the company. I'm calling to express my sympathies for that unfortunate incident with your partner. Good thing you still have the papers, but surely you would rather take care of your friends and family than pieces of paper, right? I will not allow it. Honey. I won't even let him set foot inside this house. Honey. To hell with him. He's just another bastard. What does she see in him? Our girl looked so nervous back there. It was obvious how hard she was trying to make us like him. In vain. Nobody likes him the way he is. She wasn't even born yet when we first liked the guy. Yeah, we liked him. Enough. You're being whiny again. You'll get used to it. I'll destroy him myself. Are you going to check off? Get in. Thank you. Thank you. He's here at the fourth address. He's finally on the run, eh? We're on our way. Okay. Someone's late. I have every right to leave you be. What if I did that? You're always so curious. You won't stop yourself from looking. And here I am. And you are going to wage war again? Perhaps. Is my presence necessary? Why don't we go inside? I didn't have to call. Still have my keys. I had my locks changed, so you might as well throw those keys away. You thought that I might sneak in like a thief? Hmm. Go see if you can. And now, why are you here? Excuse me. Hello? I'm so sorry, but now is not a good time, so I'll just call you back. Okay? Okay. Could I trouble you 
To hide something from me, please? I swear it won't take long. And did it cross your mind that you are being very disrespectful, hmm? Well, it did. It shouldn't be mine to keep. Go hide it yourself. I have nowhere else to go. I'm sorry I was busy. You all right? I think I am. And you? I'm still here loving you. I can't help but worry. Are we really going to be okay? Trust me, we'll be more than okay. Promise? Promise. We just need to know, ma'am. Have you been in contact with a mutual friend by the name of Peter Kuznetsov? Something happened to him? <laughs> Nothing happened, but he left something to you. You're not the police, are you? Pardon me, but I don't see how that would make a difference to your child in Nikolaev. Feel free to enlighten me. Good morning. Good morning, Nelia. Oh, you're here early, Mr. Peter. I thought someone else snuck in. Morning, Nelia. You know, insomnia and inspiration can sometimes make you do great things. I'm just about done with this article here about Edward. Oh, the one for the first issue? So you do know everything. It's about Edward's miraculous return from the dead. But this information is confidential, so you'll have to look away. Mr. Hmm? Peter, you're hurting me. Have you already approved it for printing? It was approved. Hello? It's been approved. Yes. Uh-huh. Dimitri. It's still too early. I'm not on duty today. Mm -hmm. Pops care to join me? Too early for me. I think mom's got a point here. Let's not join your mom in lecturing me, huh? You know, if I was in your place, I You would... just stay in your place, for now. And be quiet. <laughs> Here's a toast to our family's good health. I couldn't sleep last night, so I wrote something for you. <clears throat> it is a petulant pill to swallow for my generation. <clears throat> to behold this doom we've locked from you. Return like a decrepit shadow that haunts you, hasting the decline of the great machine that is the USSR, the precisely calibrated mechanism that operated like clockwork. We have given our lives to build from Dad. the ground up. What? I can't relate, Pops. Precision mechanisms? I wouldn't say that, having studied in Moscow and living through the Soviet era. I still recall it like it was yesterday, how half the Soviet Union was racing to the capital just to have that bland-ass sausage. But why? Because they didn't have any options, thus disproving your fairy tale about mechanisms. Everything I have, including you, was given to me by that government. Dimitri, someone clearly couldn't handle their alcohol. I'm not drunk, honey. It's mm -hmm. just one shot. Mm-hmm. Kira! 
Kira, I've been telling you that you should be serving me coffee. However, you exhibit admirable persistence in serving me your tea. I will not stand for this! Not in my house! <laughs> Kira, hold on! Kira, Kira, wait! Kira! Kira! Sit down. You told Kira you wouldn't stand for it in your home? Well, yeah. Guess I did. As long as I'm still breathing, I will remain the man of the house. You got it? I'm sorry. I lost my temper. What's the problem? It's Rita. And her fiancé. So you don't like him? <sighs> Say it, Dimitri. <sighs> Tell me. Do I know him? You know him, Pop. Peter. That's a common name. Kuznetsov. Twenty years ago, remember? He wanted Senya's hand in marriage. But it can't... You're talking about that writer, Peter Kuznetsov, that him? I won't let him. I won't let him. I'll shove this down his throat. <laughs> you know what? Now that I told you, I feel better. I thought I might kill someone. Good thing you told me about it, son. Do you remember in which yacht club Rita would uh, have her lessons? Excuse me, Sir Peter. It? I would like to ask you, why are you doing this? We have excellent surgeons, and he isn't ready for transportation. What's your name? Olga. Yes? Olga, you have excellent surgeons. But I want my key management personnel, Mr. Edward, to be examined at a central hospital to get an official report. Because I don't know. Maybe I should take him back once he's recovered from all his injuries. Or maybe... I should take him to a psych ward, because this guy's crazy. You're a bastard, Sir Peter. Shut up. I'll escape on the road. You shouldn't do that. Count on it. Edward. You got this by not listening. Understand? <sighs> yes? Peter, the article you wrote was blocked. For what reason? Official reasons. They're checking your material under the pretense of... Defamation and libel. You don't even have them, do you? Of course I don't. And there's no evidence. And I believe you. But other than this warning, I don't think I can help. There's this famous saying here in Yachting, straight to the sea. Yeah, yeah. You'll learn everything yeah, in the sea, that. and since you're all grown-ups, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Really like and if you don't, yeah. I'm here to help. Oh. So are we clear? Shut up. We know that already. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ahoy there, mateys. Alexander? What? Can we talk? I'm Rita Proskurina's father. Well, bummer. I'd have a word with you. Fellas, you can take a look around and see what's what, but touch nothing! I don't know, I'm touching everything. I want you to be straight with me, just between us men. Do you still have feelings for my Rita? I would have told you. But you said piss off. So I did that. I believe our interests coincide. What interests? Do you know that Rita is dating a man now? A certain... Peter Kuznetsov? The editor. I know him, so what? 
I'm under the impression that Rita somewhat understands what a terrible mistake she's making. And it's also pretty clear to me that she still remembers you fondly. Is that what you think? I know a thing or two. Especially about my daughter. You should just communicate with Peter. You and him. All alone. <laughs> well, that's rich. You want me to beat him up as well? I promise you this. If you make Peter disappear, I will do everything in my power to make my daughter marry you. Hello, it's me. I have ice on him. The boatman's with him. What are they doing? They're going somewhere. I know where they plan to go. Take it easy! This is my father's! Good thing this isn't your mother's. The hell are you?
There's been a murder here in Starfish Settlement, Private House 29 Lennon Street. So why are you alone here, staring and looking all gloomy? Hmm? I feel like something bad happened to Peter. Oh, really? What happened? <sighs> Just a hunch. That sounds like nonsense. Mom, what are you hiding from me? Am I hiding something? Don't try to make a fool out of me. It's obvious. All right, all right, all right. Very well. What if I told you that we're doing it for a reason? Isn't his proposal a sufficient reason to tell me what you know? Hmm, yeah. <laughs> so be it. All right. Come here. So where do I begin? So you already know that we, me, Peter, and your father are childhood friends, right? Yes. However, Peter and I weren't just friends. Just don't freak out. He and I were what the kids call back then, husband and wife. Oh my gosh. Rita, no. Rita, what are you what are you thinking, my dear honey bear? There was nothing special about it, okay? Just a bunch of kids being stupid. Mindless and stupid. That's how children are. They were always making fun of us, putting us next to each other and <laughs> calling us Romeo and Juliet. No, 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 no. That's stupid. No. And then I met your handsome daddy, and we fell in love, and then. We fell in love, right here and then. And then we got married, and then we had a beautiful flower, and we named her mm, Margarita, my favorite daisy. Hmm? And that's it. So do you understand us now, dear? Your dad and I? And our reactions? <laughs> you and... <laughs> you are with my ex-fiance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why did this happen? Uh, that's exactly what I thought when he showed up. So what should we do now? What should you do? I'm sure you understand it, your... Hmm, dad and granddad will never welcome him to the family. Hmm. Therefore, we will have to choose between us. Would you like to... move out? Or stay with us? Your choice. <laughs> what did you say? What? Why are you making fun of my feelings? Oh... Your feelings, huh? What feelings? Haven't you noticed how fragile your love is? How many have you fallen in love with? Who else was I do in love with? Do you even know him, the dear Peter of yours? I do. Uh-huh, of course. But I'll tell you something new. He's already lied to you. Really? Oh, yeah. That's just another lie. He just played with you, got tired, ran away, and moved on. What do Stop you... Stop lying, you Mom. Know You're it. just I'm jealous not lying. of us. He's you know lying. that I'm not lying He's to you, He's lying and you don't have a say in it. Where do you think he is, huh? Call the man. Go now, call him. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Peter. Rita! 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 Mr. Peter, do you have any firearms? I do. An awarded pistol. It's certified. Where? Inside a safe. I'll have the keys. Basil. Mr. Sergei, I found it. A Makarov in the safe. What's the murder weapon? Allegedly a Makarov was used, but we'll still check. Mm -hmm. Yes? Sergeant! Yes. Got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Peter. Please come with us. Are you sure about this? 
We have to. It's procedure. Show us your hands. Yes, I'm right here. Hello there. Come in. Well, I think it worked like a charm. It was a brilliant idea, Mr. Grigory. I'm not Brezhnev. I don't need your praise. I'm perfectly capable of knowing which ideas are brilliant. Are you sure he's secured? You may rest assured. The pistol was a great asset. It's irrefutable evidence. Where did he keep it? In a safe at his house with the round windows. It's a place that we would have used if we had staged a suicide. Good job. Let's be careful out there. Although, of course, without the original documents, he won't be able to prove anything. Right. But no, he won't just give up that easily. He will make some noise. He can't just leave it like that. He will raise hell. Let him do his time for now, hmm? See how it plays out. Dismissed. Yes, sir. My boy. Were you eavesdropping on us? <laughs> Wait, you might have misheard some things. What did you hear, son? Don't worry, we were just playing. Come on. Talk to me. Dimitri. Hold on. What did you think about yourself all this time, huh? Everything here is standing because I'm in charge of your family! I did it for you! Yes, if it weren't for everything that I have done for you, you'd still be living like a beggar! Excuse me. Peter! Peter! Peter, what happened? Excuse me! Don't cross please, the sir, line, let me through! Peter! Rita, calm down. down it's lady. all a misunderstanding. Calm down, Peter! lady. Please, Just calm let down. Me talk to him! Peter! Don't put your hands on her! Peter! I said calm down! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't know. Nothing makes sense here. It's just an idiotic conjecture. <laughs> Sir Peter, do you know how many times I've heard those exact words? Well, am I being charged for unoriginality? As much as I would like to. I can't. Now this here... is your own pistol, correct? The examination of our forensic team has established that this gun was utilized to induce a fatal shot. And then your fingerprints have been discovered on the pistol. Of course my fingerprints would be there. It's my pistol, decorated to me by my own superiors. Exactly, Mr. Kuznetsov. Yours! The murder weapon is yours! And? Am I an idiot? You think I'd shoot someone and just leave my gun as evidence in the crime scene? Oh please, nobody here is calling you an idiot. But it's your gun, yes? Mine. And this gun was used as a murder weapon. And the only set of fingerprints we found on it is yours! Now please put yourself in my shoes if this isn't enough for you to detain someone. You're an idiot. Be honest, isn't that how you'd see this case? Alright. What motive could I possibly have to murder this Alexander? Uh, Petrenko. Yes, yeah, so tell me why I would need to murder Alexander Petrenko. Oh. With your motives, you're a perfect fit for the role of a suspect because you knew him, right? Well, we weren't close. What does that matter? Busy as we are, we decided to ask around at Alexander Petrenko's workplace and establish that you two were witnessed fighting over the goodwill of a damsel. Oh, dear me. Margarita Proskurina. Sir, you've got it wrong. 
We weren't fighting over anything. Margarita and I are engaged to each other. Perhaps, but Mr. Alexander Petrenko clearly has a different opinion. He came to your settlement, Starfish, was it? Huh? You had an argument which eventually escalated and you, Mr. Kuznetsov, you shot him with a pistol. Now listen. I have only ever seen this man a couple of times. <laughs> Do you believe that that would alleviate your crime? No, I believe that a couple of times is not enough for me to point a gun at someone and shoot them in cold blood. That is not enough! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rita. I'm so sorry. Oh, my dear baby. Everything will be alright. It's never going to be alright! <laughs> I don't think I can take it. <laughs> Mom, how can anyone live through this pain? <laughs> don't worry, just give it time. Kira! Did you leave the gate wide open on purpose? Oh, come on, the sheer carelessness. Senya! Rita! Oh, Grandma is here. Girls, come on, stop hiding. Kira! Oh, goodness. Why is everything so messy here, huh? Hey. Where are you, girls? Oh, there you are. What happened here? It's a total wasteland. What's going on here, huh? The house doesn't look presentable. Where's Kira? Sorry, Mom. She took a day off, so I'll make something to fill you up. Don't bother. No need to cook. I'm on another diet. Rita, come and try this. They say it's good. <laughs> a cup of coffee would be much appreciated, though. But Kira is not here. Everybody knows that Kira, she makes the greatest coffee mix in, in the entire nation. <laughs> hey, Rita, look, I brought you something good. It's another Vienna cake. Thank you, uh, Grandma. And why are you tearing up today? Be jolly. Leave her alone, Mom. Don't worry about it, Grandma. Uh, why do you insist on calling me Grandma, huh? From now on, you will call me Katie. Just don't worry about me, Katty. All right, all right, all right. If I'm so irritating for you, then I'll stop. She's just not in the mood. It's not that you are... Irritating her. I can sort things out with my granddaughter myself, can't Don't I? Don't shout at my mother, Kathy! Rita, apologize to your grandma. But she isn't grandma anymore! She's just Kathy now! Kathy is your grandma! Just what the hell happened? What is going on here? If I may answer your inquiry, so I may serve her this... this Gordian knot. Hello, Grigory. Hello there, Kathy. The thing is that... Rita has found herself a good man. What's that supposed to mean? We call it a boyfriend. Oh. Now I hope I've satisfied your curiosity, Katya. So has anyone seen Dimitri? My goodness. Why did you just say so? She keeps her mouth shut because she suspects that you are acquainted with the man. Really? Yes, Mom. Because my daughter's fiancé is my ex. My ex-fiancé and my classmate. Peter Kuznetsov. Has anyone seen my son? Grigory. How could it be Peter Kuznetsov? I didn't think it would be possible. No or... one would have thought of it. But just in his house, Mom. The impossible's just a possibility. Mom! Don't worry, Rita. How did that happen? We all know it. Grigory, you knew this? Why are you so surprised? Ksenia, where's Dimitri? Don't know. Wait there, stop moving. Why are you staring at me like that? I'm falling in love. Aren't we fun? It's good drama. Why not join in on the fun while you're here? It's not like we're busy. Come on, for 
For fairness sake. <laughs> fairness? <laughs> oh, are we finally gonna start being fair in this household, huh? Yes, of course, we have the, uh... Most distinguished experts in this area, right? Well then, well then, where do we begin with this new fairness of yours? Um, let's remember the fairness in how all of you treated me back when I was at the same age as my Rita. You'd better be quiet now, Mom, Senya. I have to speak my mind. I can't take it anymore. Wasn't it you who taught me about honesty? Really, you taught me a lesson I'll never forget. By taking away from me the person that I had truly loved, you did that to me. You did that to me. What love? Don't even know. Love, huh? You were saving your father! You're right, I was saving Dad. And I succeeded. I remember that, Mom. Quite clearly. No, come on, my fair, honest people. Let us remember. What was the cost? Hmm? You two honestly and fairly... <sighs> made me open up my legs for... <clears throat> Dimitri. Shut up, Senya! Why should I? Why? You're just whining! I'm whining? You think I'm whining? I'm just trying to make you remember, you bum! Reminding you how it really is here! <laughs> you would have me just shut up and comply. <laughs> Remember when you forced me to make a promise? That one about having to keep my mouth shut for the rest of my life. Do you know what it's like to live? Every day with a man who persistently comes by my damn room and having his disgusting way all over in my damn body? Yes, he always comes to Spare my damn room! your daughter! Don't change the subject! Who the hell behaves as though they have the right to own you, huh? But he does have that right because I myself gave to him that power! The man has the power to demand love me! Love me, you dirty whore! Or maybe you deserve someone who loves him for who he truly is, damn it! Not someone who was just coerced into a damn wedding with him, you idiot! Not someone who's always insincere and lying, lying about every single contemptible thing! What am I here? That I have to laugh at all his stupid jokes. <laughs> and the way he just keeps speaking about his paintings, it's all about himself, though. Oh, but I'll admire them, and if he's feeling sad, I also have to empathize with him. There is no me. I'm blind, deaf, and muted, all because you're fair. All that's left for me to go crazy from this cursed knowledge that I will never get out of here. I will never. Hey, Senya, were you aware of everything you just said? Dad! Dad! <laughs> it's alright, Rita. Everything will be fine. Mrs. Catherine, I'd like to notify you that Peter Kuznetsov is in prison. Imprisoned? Under what charges? None that are true. He's completely innocent. If you doubt it, <laughs> That's on you. Right, Dad? Can you tell us more about the details? Grandpa! He's drunk. Dear Rita, just ignore him. He's drunk. I'm not drunk, honey. I'm not interested in that anymore. I've had all the alcohol allotted to me in this life. I promise you that you'll be happy, right? That's exactly what I'll be doing. Dad! Dimitri, you ungrateful mongrel! Easy, 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 Grigory! Remember your blood pressure. You have to calm yourself. Gregory, your blood pressure. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Once your father's back, you tell him I'm waiting. We'll have a serious conversation. Senia! Senia! Grandpa! 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 Grigory! Excuse me, sir. What have you got? This guy wants to see you. He says you, he has sir. some vital information about the murder at the Starfish Settlement. Good evening. Really? It's a good evening? Well, I'm all ears. Uh, sir, I'd like to make a confession. What kind of confession? I murdered Alexander Petrenko. Sir, he's been harassing my daughter. <laughs> but we already have the murderer in this case, in custody. Peter Kuznetsov? Yes. No, he's innocent. Uh, I wanted to frame him, but... I, I changed my mind, yeah. I I'll tell you everything about the case 
Uh, by the minute. You can ask me about the gun and the safe inside the domicile with the round windows, you know? You'll have everything I know. If you want, we can go right now to the crime scene. And then, um... We could do, a uh, uh, What was it again? Crime reenactment? Yeah. Can we do it? Stop it, get back. I just swept the floor. Wipe your shoes. Come on. Wipe it. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Hello. Will you be living here with us now, huh? No. Then why did you come? I just couldn't help it. You couldn't help coming? What for? Well, Mrs. Catherine... Huh? I will do everything that you say. And what else is there to do? <laughs> you already did everything. You know who else did everything he could? Grigory Dimitrovich. He went to his final respite ahead of his time. But Grandma... Don't Grandma me. Now just be a good girl and sit down, Rita. Sit. You? You just put your ex-fiancé's husband in jail. Your fiancé's father. And your friend from childhood. They used to be a happy family. A flawed, but still joyful, happy family. Well, take a look. It's all glee, thanks to Peter. Not a single thing left. But now we have our Peter Kuznetsov, the all-powerful. And the all-knowing. Sorry, are you here for the spoils? Well, then, here are your choices. Go ahead. Both of them are single. Both of them are still pretty. Oh, Peter, but don't take them both. Mother, daughter, huh? Pick. <laughs> Mom. Senya, my apologies. <laughs> no worries. I'm the one who should apologize. <sighs> Everything that's happened is actually my fault. Yeah. Mm. I said all those things to him. I don't know how I would live with that. Yesterday I talked to him. They allowed us to visit. <sighs> but he didn't even want me there. <laughs> It feels weird to talk about it so openly. Awkward. The irony about it is that I... think I finally realize how I truly feel. I do love that idiot. I do. Senya. Hmm? Rita. Rita. I'll get him out of there. I promise you I will get him out of there. Rita, I have to go now.
Will, why are you still sitting? Hmm? Go after him. Go on, hurry. Mom. Go on, you might miss him. <laughs>